Hello, lovelies. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. My coffee's cold, but it still tastes so good. Like, so good. Mm. <laughs> So I thought I would come on and I would just see what's up with everybody. I've been sort of having a, a go of it today. I'm not really sure why. Um, you know, I woke up and I'm like, I, I'm not, I, I don't think I'm in a funk, but like I feel like my behavior all day has like been funk behavior. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not, I, I've been productive, so I feel good about that. But I just feel like I'm like, ugh. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever just have, like, I woke up, I did my makeup, I, you know, I did the dishes, I made ribs for dinner, but I just feel like, ugh. Yeah. It's one of those days. Kind of sucks. That's sort of like, I, I'm starting to wonder if I'm, like, maybe bipolar instead of just, like, like, just depression I'm starting to wonder if maybe it's not like some sort of like bipolar thing because um, because yeah something is definitely definitely up with my head not with my head but with my head something is up and um, yeah I wish I could figure it out but I, I just can't um, so yeah. Trying to get everything together. You know, I had this like really crazy thought as I was like walking Charlie earlier and um, about self-sabotage and I had this like, this thought in my head that was like, you are self-sabotaging to a level of self-sabotage that you did when you lived in Hamilton. Many, 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 many years ago when I was doing drugs and stuff like that. I, you know, I self-sabotaged a lot. Um, and, uh, and that voice in my head said that today. And I think that that's maybe what put me where I am because um, I know that I'm self-sabotaging. I know that. Uh, I've made some stupid decisions lately. But I also know that I'm genuinely working hard at not self-sabotaging. And I know what my self-sabotage looks like, so it's not, um, it's not just coming out of nowhere. I'm, I'm fully aware of it. I know what's happening. And, uh, yeah, but that, that little voice in my head really sort of, like, took me for a leap. A loop? A leap? I don't fucking know. Uh, either way, um, it sort of put my head somewhere. But I just, you know, wanted to reach out, see how everyone is everyone's week went as it's Friday and you get a car you get a car and you get a car everybody gets a car mm -hmm. excuse me I always think about those, like those shows like I always think about like because they get this stuff for free like I always think what if someone can't afford the taxes on it or something like that like do they still get to keep it I don't know I don't know because there's taxes on that kind of stuff right yeah, just thought I'd check in, see how things are going. Uh, my birthday's in a month, which is, I guess, you know, next month, like, May is going to be a really trying month for me because I've got a lot of travel planned, and um, every time that I travel, it's basically in and out of Toronto. Um, May 8th, May 26th, and May 29th, I think I've told everyone about that. May 26th is my birthday. Well, my, May 28th is my actual birthday, but May 26th is the day that I'm coming into Toronto. Um, if, uh, if we're friends and you want to come and just say hello, because I'm, I'm literally just going there for dinner, a very cheap place on uh, Queen Street West um, that I used to love called Ginger. Uh, yeah, if you, if we're friends, message me, and, uh, of course you're invited. Just come and say hello, even. Um, but that's it. I thought I would, you know, say hello to everybody. Get online, because I, I, you know, I haven't done a lot of, like, check-in videos lately. And, uh, I, I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm dealing with my own shit. 
not that I don't love each and every one of you out there, but you know, sometimes self-care means like just pulling away from everything. And, uh, and that's what I've done. I've isolated is what, is what my friends would say I've, I'm, I've been doing. I've been isolating. And that's the absolute truth. I have been isolating um, a lot more lately because I'm dealing with... And here's the worst thing about the cycles of everything. About, you know, you're depressed and so you, you isolate because you don't want to depress someone else. And, or upset someone else. And the problem is, is that that cycle sort of just keeps repeating itself. You know, you just keep isolating yourself more and more and more. And so, yeah, it, it kind of sucks, but it's just the way it is. Uh, I've been thinking a lot lately about dating. I, I, I think that I'm, I think that I'm at that lonely point where like dating might be good just to sort of get me out of the house and, you know, maybe like to have someone to be close to. Um, but it's difficult, you know, working in porn and even working on YouTube. Like, it's really difficult to, like, you know, do this stuff and have a boyfriend who gets it. And I, ideally, listen, my dream boyfriend would be someone that I would do YouTube videos with and make porn with. <laughs> That's right. All of it. Um, but that, that, you know, most guys don't want to date trans women out in the open. And, you know, that's kind of sad. I mean, things are changing, but not nearly quick enough. And so, uh, you know, I've, I've come to that point where I'm, I won't be anyone's dirty little secret. And, you know, some girls are okay with that. They are, uh, and that's, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being okay with dating someone who doesn't want to show you off to everyone. And I don't need to be shown off to everyone, but I also don't want to be made to feel like I'm dating someone who isn't proud to be with me. You know? So, yeah. Because I take a lot of pictures, I take a lot of videos, so anyone I date has to be cool with that, and, and that's not that's not an easy find. Um, so, if you're out there, uh, I'm open and available. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, when it comes to dating also, like, I mean, listen, I, I, I am batshit crazy. I like things the way I like them. And it's really hard for me to change my mind because I'm a little old-fashioned with certain things. So it is difficult, to say the least. Uh, but I would be open to it with the right person now. I think it's it's getting to that point in my golden years that, uh, you know, it'd be nice to have a partner in crime. Anyhow, that's it. I just thought I would pop on. Um, I have some custom videos to do for some, uh, some of my adult fans tonight, and, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that after I do this, and I love each and every one of you. Continue to comment, because I love you for it. Um, you know, that's just the, that's the way we get to talk to each other, right? It's one of our three things. One, comment down below, join the competition. Um... So, yeah, comment, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Um, I love you all. And uh, hopefully I'll see some of you at my birthday. Bye.